Welcome back to the James and Christie Show. I have something really special for you guys, and wait to hear what I have to say. It's something that I don't think anybody's been doing this at all. And um, I'm going to tell you, um, I've even heard of somebody that's actually making $7 million with blog networks, really. And I'm going to show you some of the systems and methods that these guys have been doing this. And I'm going to tell you, it is huge money that you guys can be making, which is simple. Very simple methods or anything, and I, I bet you guys are going to love to hear. So stay tuned. Take a lot of notes because I'm going to tell you, um, I already have my pad of paper up. I mean, you already see I'm, I'm in ready to take notes. I got my pen ready. So I'm going to tell you because you can actually retain 30% more when you have pad of paper and pen because I promise you, you're going to you, this is going to be a chock full of golden nuggets that you can use in your own business. Right, Christy? Absolutely. We want to welcome Simon Warner. The show and Simon's going to tell us some amazing facts that you may not know how much money there is in domains. Uh, Simon, welcome hi. to the James and Christie Show. Hi, hi, uh, nice to speak to you. Hi there, welcome to the James and Christie Show. Um, so Simon, is there any money in doing this? Because I know that you're a guru doing this, and I, I hear you're doing quite well. Yeah, well, there's actually loads and loads and loads of money in domains. There's two main ways. Uh, there's selling the domains and using the domains to rank. And obviously, the more authority and age, um, I mean, with a, you know, great age comes authority, so I must have loads of authority now. So I'm starting to recede a little bit, so I must be getting lots of authority now. Um, if you rank in your domain, obviously, you know, whether you're building a list or you're promoting affiliate offers of your own product, you know, the higher you rank in Google, you know, the, the, the more traffic you get, the more traffic you get, the more money you can make. Or if you've got a domain that's got a great phrase, I mean, if you could go back, uh, you know, if you could jump in Doctor Who's TARDIS and go back 18 years and get weightloss.com or something in that kind of creditcards.com, you can imagine what kind of money that domain would be worth right now. You know, you'd be, you'd be sitting on never having to work for the rest of your life. That's the kind of money that's in domains. I mean, domains every day change for five, six, seven figures um, because, you know, you can't have a website without one. Exactly, exactly. Um, and then you mentioned, um, I think, did you mention that your, your partner, seven million dollars in um, blog networks? Yeah, he built up blog networks, which was basically to find an age domain in the niche. So, for example, if you were looking at what's around me, um, if you a cro cuddly crocodile at the back there, so if you had crocodiles.com, um, you know you get another uh, server. You put alligators.net on there, and sharpteeth.co.uk, and you'd link all these sites together, and each site would be passing on the authority to the other sites. So you build up like it's called a blog network because it's like a spider's web of sites, and then you can add on like Facebook pages pointing to other parts of it, and you build up like a little web of it all pointing to your main domain, which would be your crocodiles.com, and the more juice that those are passing on to each other, you know, say you had an art, a few different articles on each one, all pointing to each other, then all that juice pushes the main one higher, and but before you know it, you're ranking number one, um, and basically you're controlling where all your links come from. And it's called a network because you've got one server here, another server here, maybe you're a... Uh, like a Google blogger blog over here, all pointing towards the main one. And Simon, I've also um, seen where you can actually start a service where you just put links on your blog network and you charge a daily service or a monthly service. Absolutely. If you go onto some of the SEO forums or some of the uh, you know the webmaster uh, yeah, forums, then you can be seeing people that just are getting paid seventy-five dollars just to put one link on a page rank three or four. So you know, if you're renting out, if you've got ten or eleven of these sites and you're renting them all out to various webmasters, before you know it, for absolutely no work and a couple of articles, you're banking a thousand dollars a month because links are important, backlinks are important, and That's quality cool. links are more important. Okay, um, so Simon, how do you find these domains? Well, there's uh, two ways you can do it. You can either you can either use a piece of software like we have, or you can manually go through it, which means checking all the different places where there's expired domains, or looking for the best domains which are about to drop. Because what you basically want is page rank. Um, 
if you started a domain right now, you went out and bought a domain, it would start off with zero. First of all, you'd have to have it in, get it indexed, you know, trying to get Google to notice it. Then you'd have to put content on it, more content, more content. Or the older the domain, the more experience it has. So, you know, it's the same as anything else. If a shop's on your street and it's been there for 10 years, people will go to it, whether it's a great shop or not. A new shop a, uh, opens on your street, people have to get to know it, have to get to know the owner, to know what it sells, and it takes time. That's cool. Yeah. Okay, so your software does this for you, like push button? Can you show it to yeah. us? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Literally just pushing a, uh, pushing a, a button. Let me just uh, get it up there. Awesome. Everybody click Simon's the middle box, please. So that way. You, you see it, Christy? Be, I see that it. Right now. Yeah, I got it. Mm -hmm. Now I was just doing a, a search for shirts earlier, but just to show that uh, yeah, you know, we can find uh, domains in anything. Let's go for something else that I can see in my room. Let's go for bags. I've got a bag over. I've got my laptop bag behind me. So we want to, maybe we're selling any kind of bags. So here we are. We're just going to do a search there. If I want if I want to just go for a, a uh, for ones with page rank or, you know, let's say I want to have one that's at least, say, three years old. You know, I want one between one and three years old. Or let's go for one and 15 because I want a good one. And... I only want a dot com. I don't really want any, any of these other ones. I'm only uh, looking for a dot com today. So I'll just unclick a few of those. Let's narrow it down. Um, I'll redo my search now with a few filters in and see what we come back with. Should come back with a nice choice. Right, so what I'm looking for most of all is, right, we'll just minimize this window. I'm looking for something with page rank. So as I can see there, there's a handbag one, but the page rank on it isn't real. Straight away, I know that's fake page rank, so I don't really want that one. I can see there that I've got a bags domain. It's seven years old. It's a uh, got a page rank of three, so that's quite good. It's getting Google searches, and it's $59.00. So I want to know a little bit more about this one. I'm not sure if I want it yet, this this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some in-depth data on it. So what that, that's doing now is it's talking to Moz, the big SEO uh, company. It used to be called SEO Moz. And it's getting all the information on it. It will bring up all the domains that link in there. So I can go through a few of those links if I wanted to, see if they were good ones. And I can see it's got a domain authority of 15 which isn't terrible, but, you know, I've got something to start off with. So if I'm in the bags niche, I've got a good, uh, uh, I've got a good start in there. So I can have a look at this custom, a custom foot bag. I don't actually know what a foot bag is. I must get that out. Um, if I'm still interested in that, I can optimize it. And let's see what keywords we could, we could uh, uh, rank it for. So if I'm looking at ranking it for bags. I can ask it to suggest some keywords for me and check keywords in the bags niche. So it's, it really is, you know, a really interesting uh, uh, piece of software. And as you can see, those domains are quite easy to build your network around or if you've got something on there, you know, there's there's quite a lot of exact searches there in the uh, in the bags. A bed in a bag. See, I found a new niche straight away. There you go. That's interesting. Really? And I can see on there that there's more exact total searches. You know, people will be looking for a general. For that specific there, there might be a lot more total searches for general bags, but a bed in a bag, there's two, you know, that is something there that I might want to go into there, so bed in a bags, because it looks like a pretty easy niche to rank for, and there's a lot of ex exact total searches, and everyone knows, you know, those niches that, uh, yeah, that people... Don't don't jump straight out. You know, people always think about niches like the weight loss niche, the credit card niche, but it's these weird little sub niches in that people are quietly making a fortune in. Yep, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you guys. Um, this is powerful stuff, and let me tell you how I would use it because um. Okay, you guys have to understand how powerful this stuff. This can make you thousands of dollars a day, like it's doing with 
a Simon. Okay, these guys. I mean, even his partner, seven million dollars on blog. Okay, here's the recipe. Here's the here's the system. How you use this. Basically, there's two ways to make money with this system. What I would do is I would grab some of these high pay pay drink um, domains, such as the pay drink four or five, and put them on GoDaddy, and that's an auction site. You know, ask for five hundred, or ask for six hundred, or even thousand, or two thousand. And then people are going to come over there and they'll say, hey, you know what? I want that domain. And all they do is click order and that's it. You get your money. And it's that simple, really. There's nobody to talk to. And now here's the second way that I would use this. After you got a huge page rank one, and, and you can also find out the backlinks with this too, which that, it shows all your backlinks and shows all the work, does a way back machine, shows you what the website already looked like. Once you get it where it's fresh, what I would do is create something like a bed in a bag, just what Simon got done showing. You set up a web page with that. Right away, now that's an older domain, might be 1998, might be 2005. You grab that also because you get all the authority that was associated with that domain. The second thing which you do is you grab all the backlinks which somebody actually did all the work for it. Might have maybe over a thousand backlinks. So the third thing is that all the goodwill that it had. So all of a sudden, Google is going to recognize that as a domain and you're going to get ranked a lot faster. Now you put all your ClickBank products on there and now you're getting tons of traffic that's going to it and that's how a lot of these guys make seven million dollars with a blog network. Am I right Simon? Absolutely, absolutely. I mean that there is loads of money there. I mean doing it manually you know to find all that kind of data that's just there on my, my, my screen right now that's going to take a lot of time and I don't know about you, but I'd rather be spending that time doing something fun like going swimming or something like that rather than sitting there doing keyword research because it's not the most exciting thing to do in the world. Um, but there's another killer feature. Now, it's something we were going to originally incorporate in this, but we were going to keep this to ourselves, and that is domains before they drop. Now, these domains are great, but what's even greater than these is the domains that haven't dropped yet. You know, like the, you see these three-letter domains going on Flipper for like ten, twenty thousand dollars because you know there's only so many three-letter, four-letter, or short word domains, and that is our dropper, which is going to be incorporated into this software at launch, and that will actually find you domains before they drop. And I've sent you a pre-release a screenshot of that because it's you know it's, it's a really, really powerful tool. That is so exciting, Simon. Really, it is, and I've done this before too, and you can. Uh, just put them on GoDaddy, and GoDaddy will, you know, host them for you, and they can buy you. If they can buy the domain straight from there. And yeah. with that thought, uh, Muhammad Ali, we like to give a thought of the day, said, "I hated every minute of training, but I said, don't quit. Suffer now and live the rest of your life as a champion." I mean, just imagine if you could get one domain that sold for one million dollars. His partner has sold a blog network for seven million dollars. So you want to click on the link below and definitely check this out. Simon, thank you so much for being with us today. It was thank a you very much. Uh, yep. Yeah. Um, guys, you know what? I, I'm telling you, um, you can make a lot of money doing this, okay? His partners are seven million bucks. I mean, they, so they make thousands. I mean, a hundred, five hundred, I mean, seven million. I'm mean, telling you, the money is there right now. And you know what? Nobody's really doing this. Understand that this is a wide open market where that not many people are doing this. So if you want to set up a blog network, or if you just want to be lazy and do it the way that I would do it, is actually just grab these names, put them on GoDaddy auction, and then when somebody set and then put it up a crazy ridiculous price, or actually just put it at a, a not a ridiculous price and just rotate them real quick. You know what? Buy one, turn it to cash. Buy one, turn it to cash because you know what you bought it for. Just make 100% on it if you just want, really. So, I mean, I'm telling you, this is method does work. I've done it myself. All right, guys. See you later. Have a great one. Thanks for coming on, Simon. I appreciate everything. Thank you very much for having us. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye.